What is up, Total Excellence dudes? Thank you all for coming by to the Pro Wrestling Gators art stream, guys. So, before I even showcase my art, um, if you guys haven't followed me on social media, or to those that have recently subscribed and even follow me on Twitter, thanks for coming by, dudes. Um, yeah, man, it's been crazy. Um, I commissioned Tovio. <clears throat> You guys remember from the last stream, he was the second artist that I wanted to hop on and pretty much, you know, who got to work on Udon projects like Street Fighter and I believe Dark Stalkers. And I mean, this is just unbelievable, man. Telvio did a phenomenal job on this. I cannot wait to have this bad boy printed on the comic book dudes i mean he did I, and i pronounce i mispronounced his name it's not tovio it's tavio <laughs> it's if you go to his bio it he's he he says the correction tavio so it is tavio guys but yeah guys i've I'm just blown away, but I think everybody else loves it. I they just love his illustrations. I mean, again, phenomenal work. Um, by by far the best comment that was there when the, everyone was seeing uh, Tavio's artwork was uh, this comment right here, which was uh, oh my god, what was it called? There it is, mature immune wrestling reptile. <laughs> By far, this was the best comment I've read out of all of them. Um, these guys remind me of a really old Ninja Turtles storybook I had about some space wrestling things. Yeah, there, there was actually a comic of that. Funny enough, and then everyone was asking, you know, what the heck is this? So, yeah, man. I mean, it's I cannot even believe my phone was nonstop blowing up. That's why I had to, like, Turn off notifications. I mean, like, over 1K, at least in this recording, 1,000 likes, 209 retweets, um, nine, 109 bookmarks, and 10 comments, guys. So, I mean, if you guys get to, uh, you know, see this, you know, give Tovio a, give Tovio a call, man. I can't believe I said Tovio. Tavio. I'm not used to saying Tovio. It's it just rolls with the with the O. O. Anyways. Let me go on ahead and start doing what y'all here are for. This is for pro wrestling gators. Got the gator boys here. Right now I gotta draw this other dude called Neobo. It's going to be one of these folders here. Nope. That's not it. Well, we'll find out. He's in one of these. <laughs> He's in one of these layers. There he is. There's Neobo. He was in one of these layers. Anyway, dudes. I'm going to turn off the camera because my laptop is like a hybrid. So I'm going to go in tablet mode. So. I'm going to turn off the camera in three, two, one. Poof. Oh, and would you look at that? My avatar pick is also the Tavio Commission. Don't worry. There's going to be three more artists that I have commissioned. So, um, yeah, man. I cannot wait. So far, one artist, I commissioned him to do everything. Basically... You know, pencils, inks, colors, boom, bam, thank you, ma'am. And then two other artists I have commissioned, I just want them just to do pencils and inks. So, you know, there might be an uh, art stream of me coloring a variant covers for Pro Wrestling Gators related content. So if you guys are here just watching, you know, why don't you just, you know, you have any questions i'm here to answer as well as you know if you guys are artists as well you know come and draw with me just do 
what y'all love to do. Um, let me see. You know what? Let me play some music. Just so that way, you know, you guys can chill, relax. I got some sound clips too, but I don't want to terrify you guys. All right. Let's go on ahead and. So, yeah, dudes. I'm pretty excited this whole comics journey. I mean, I have worked on the block for three years, and I think around that time frame, I don't know, man. I've, I've made some early uh, art streams with with pro wrestling gators and my art was was not how i wanted to be if anything like this may be the best <laughs> this may be the best art i have done of this year of anything and i think at this point in time i feel more confident as an artist and you know i i want to do all of it man i want to do pencils i want to do the writing i want to do the lettering i want to do it all guys you know? when you only have one life you know what, what are you gonna do with so little time in this in this time of earth you know There's so many things we can do within our times. <clears throat> Trust me, there'll be moments when I thought I have time to freaking work on the comic and then life kicks. Life kicks in and you're like, oh, I guess that'll be tomorrow. And tomorrow never came. And tomorrow became two or three days later. And now today is finally the day that I get to sit down and, you know, um, get to work on. Pro Wrestling Gators. And who knows, I might need to start uh, hitting up some podcasts and whatnot. I don't know many podcasts, so this is going to be very interesting. And I think at this point, nobody... <laughs> I don't think nobody is even doing any um, interviews. I mean, I know maybe like some podcasts, but I don't think you can like hit up their DMs and be like, hey, I want to go on your show to, uh, you know, I guess to cold call, I would like to say, just cold call and say, hey, I, I'd like to be on your show and, you know, promote my book, you know, and at some point in time, you know, what, what value do I have to be on their show, you know, I mean, I can tell my followers to check out the interview I'm on. But I don't think the, the follower count that I have currently... I mean, I have gained followers because of uh, Tavio's recent, you know, showcase of the art that he did for me. I, I gained, like, I think five followers out of, like, the hundreds or, or basically thousands of people that liked it. So, I mean, you know... So yeah, Tavio's a fantastic artist. I do recommend you guys to commission him. Yeah, Tavio was one of my top, top artists I, I, I really wanted to commission. And I was happy to commission him and have a good job too. I This new job I have, you know, without it, I don't think I even could afford to even commission all like all four of these artists to be honest with you dudes so I am happy
We got Dale A in the chat. What is up, Total Excellence? I am doing excellent, Dale. How are you doing, dude? Thanks for coming by the stream, man. You know. I was going to plan on doing the stream at 9, but then, you know, I, I was getting hungry, so I was like, nah. And also, dudes, if y'all don't know already, um, the Flock Psychic Adventures has finally launched, um, as far as I remember, I think we got, let me actually check now that I just brought it up. I'll show the Kickstarter later and showcase it to you guys. But, you know, I'm finally getting to the ink, the inking phase after I was talking about Tavio and the piece for far too long. I don't think I've even been even like, uh, I don't think I even inked that much. I think I did like three drawings and like three lines and that's it. Okay, we got some increase. So we got 17 backers and two, and our pledge goal is a thousand. So, yeah, guys. I know that Scott recently up uploaded a photo. Like, he did a print run test just to see the quality of the book. Just to make sure everything was good and solid. And it does, man. I mean, gosh, man, it looks so good. Don't worry, I'm going to showcase it later. Uh, do you have an editor? No, I do not have an editor. I'm just doing everything, dude. I'm pretty much I'm doing the Marvel, uh, was it the Marvel method? I'm just basically just drawing everything from beginning to end. I have an idea what where I want the story to be. I have an idea for the page count. Thinking I even looked up the printer too that I want to print it. So. I want to do like maybe close to 40 pages. So that's a good, good beefy floppy book, you know? And I got like a good, a good time frame too that, um, I got a good time frame. Like I want to launch on July. So that's more than enough time to get this book done and as well as um i jumped on kickstarter and see like what the heck am i supposed to do <laughs> you know i i never done kickstarter at all i pledged on kickstarter i'm very well aware of the platform but creating a campaign that that's a whole new other beast so i all i did was I think all I did was just fill out the questions and then I just was like, let me just skip to visual part, you know, uh, I'll, I'll figure out the whole situation of like the, like where to connect my banking account and all of this, all of this fun stuff. So, cause uh, was it my good buddy and fellow colorist, uh, Nick Capino. If you don't know Nick, um, he is a colorist for, he's also alumni for the Cupert School as well as he's, I believe he's an, yeah, he's an instructor for the Cupert School. So he'll be teaching students how to color as well as to, you know, prep up for printing and all that fun stuff, you know, of what to do when preparing for your comic. So yeah, man. And uh, Nick has helped me a lot. He helped me. Like, just little things made such a huge impact, you know. So, he helped me when I was doing the hard cut. Was it? Yeah, the hardcover cover. I don't know. such an oxymoron. Um, doing the cover for the hardcover. For the flock. Um. For the flock volume one so and all he showed me was like oh just change the background of the panels 
that you have there so that way it looks more golden age and when i did that thing that he told me to do i was like holy crap man that looks like 10 times better than how i would have made it to be so yeah man and i even know there was an option to even do that so yeah nick is another one like i always ask him like some feedbacks from my coloring he gave me solid feedbacks and as well as you know like he'll give me like um I think I asked him for like if he knows any editors for coloring gigs and stuff like that and I hit them up and, you know I gave him my digital portfolio and who knows I guess it's not I guess the I guess the work that I showed in my portfolio I guess I'm I guess I wasn't something that maybe I'm hitting the chord or whatnot but anyways you know I shoot my shot I've reached out to the editor twice so, you know, obviously, you know, either they're super busy or they weren't interested that I didn't, I guess, hit the criteria they wanted me to hit. And that's fine, you know. I'm going to move on and just do my own thing and freaking making my comic, <laughs> you know. So I'm taking advantage of it. I did pick up a coloring commission from, funny enough, a voice actor. So, I mean, he's pretty cool. Um, I'll see if I can talk to him if he's cool with me like showcasing it because he's going to be using this piece for a con and he specified like what markers he's going to use and stuff like that so I'll ask him if it's cool if I can showcase it and I'll just color it live and if he's not too busy maybe I can have him on like he he's a huge Rob Liefeld fan so I'm like oh shoot all right cool man you and I have something in common. <laughs> Even uh, send me some high-res inks of one of uh, Rob's books. I believe he was trying to learn how to ink. So he sent me some of the high-res inks that he was doing. So, And that was before he... Um, and that was before like he was going to do voice acting, funny enough. So it was pretty rad, man. And what other exciting things? Oh, I just paid my, I just paid the fourth artist today. I sent him all my references and stuff like that. And he's so awesome. I won't say his name yet until, you know, I'll showcase the art piece, but he was so awesome, man. And like, you know, how everything for this much and I'll throw in, um, <clears throat> I'll throw in like a wraparound cover. I'm like, dude, you are too kind, man. Is like this guy has so much on his plate, man, you know. And the last thing I want him to feel is feel burnt out. And the last thing I want to be is to be the individual that did it, you know. Because at least for me, like I have a perspective or the mindset of an artist. So, you know, I've I've dealt with, you know, I've done commissions at some point in time, like I was so burnt out, like I just didn't want to color anymore, dudes. Just to be honest with you. So. Well, you know. It has changed now. Like, now I'm happy. I'm doing my own thing now. And, you know, I get... I talked with Scott. Funny enough, I just talked with Scott Scott uh, recently. I was asking him, like, Hey, bud. Um, are we going to do, like, a launch... Like, a launch stream or a launch celebration? since we uh for the flock and he's like he's like dude uh i barely had any sleep yesterday because i was i was in the stream promoting um the flock sidekick adventures so i was like oh okay dude don't stress about it like we'll do it tomorrow i'm like cool perfect you know so if anything maybe i won't do a coloring stream i might do you know um, a flock launch celebration, a belated launch celebration. If I, if I do say so myself, but yeah, dudes, I'm going to go and check on the chat real quick and see what y'all be talking about. All right. No bites. 
Nothing yet. It's all good. It's all good. If y'all lurking, I respect your lurking. But yeah, dudes. What the heck is going on? <laughs> I was erasing my inks. That's blasphemy, dude. First of all, y'all can't even... That should not even be legal. Alright, let's see here. Let's try to make these lines a little bit thicker, you know? Just to, just to define the... Uh, just to find the edginess, because I'm a freaking edgelord, guys. Don't know if you know that. I'm the reason why, um, you know, Evan Seen was the reason why it's famous, is because, you know, I'm an elder emo. There you go, I said it. Yeah. I'm the reason why the song uh, Bring Me to Life was a thing. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just saying, saying shenanigans. But yeah, let me turn off my rough pencils. Where the heck are my rough pencils at? Just roughs, period. Wow, that looks so boring. <laughs> like, do you, I don't know, I guess it's more of an artist question. Like, do you get... Do you guys ever have a feeling after you finish inking, you just look at it and you're like, wow. This doesn't look as interesting as when I freaking have it on pencils and it's all rough and stuff, you know. It gives so much um, personality. So who knows, man. I'll make Nio was a Neobo um, more emo, if anything. I mean, I mean, he's a roadie, so there you go. I just realized I didn't even give this dude like any clothes, like maybe a leather jacket. Let me look at my freaking. Let me look at. Um, okay, no. I have references to help me out to give me a visual idea. There you go. All right, we got to give him. Him. Give him a choker, like a belt neck. Is that what they're called? Is like for the belt around their neck? Is it is it still considered a choker or I don't know? Is it called a belt neck? If anyone ever rocked it out back then or still do, tell me what exactly is it called? Is it a choker or is it just a belt neck? I don't think it should be called a belt neck, but. This is sound so intriguing. It's like go to Hot Topic and be like, "Hey, dude, it's uh, like your belt neck. Where'd you get it? I got it from here, man. <laughs> nice, stoked, dude. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, if anything, I'll freaking have freaking thorns. Yeah, let's freaking put thorns on it." And whatever. We're just gonna play around with pers perspective, man. Alright, cool. Ain't talking about nothing. <laughs> a collar. That's what it's called? It's called a collar? Okay. Cool. It's better than, I don't know, a belt neck. Or a choker. Jeez Louise, man. I don't know, man. Alright, let's 
let's see here. All right, so for now he has a leather jacket as part of the promo, but at least when he's wrestling, you know, I don't know. We'll debate on it. We'll, if the if the jacket is a keeper or a no go. Just put some Easter eggs too, you know. Why not? Let's give him some vampire fangs. And then after that, just do that. Color it in, and then yeah, we gotta give it a nose. Every skull has a nose. Okay, cool. And then what else? Oh shoot, she got um, she got hand gauntlets. Okay, okay. No, I should not give him hand gauntlets. We're gonna give him. We gotta give him like you know, like any rigs. Y'all played uh, Brutal Legend. You know what? Since I'm even talking about Brutal Legend, let me actually have him as a, my reference. Why not? See, dudes, this is like my creation process. I always have freaking references with you at all costs. And I don't even download. I'm just going to copy this image, right? Okay. And then, bam! Eddie Riggs, baby. Brutal legend. Let's see. I got to move Niobe because she's blocking my uh, reference here. All right. See here. Where are you, Eddie? There you are. I'll put ER. <laughs> let's go and let's go to the ER. Gosh, that's such a cool. My gosh, man. Such a cool character design. Now I want to draw the freaking. This is exactly what I was talking about. Like these freaking hand gauntlets. It's pretty metal, man. How you guys' week been so far? My week's been good. Got started doing um, overtime at my new job. I was pretty excited. And then, um, yeah, pretty much like we were short on inventory, so I couldn't go. I couldn't go in and you know I was hoping to have a whole week working overtime but no that did not go according to plan but that's all good and I'm gonna have a big check next week so I ain't complaining I ain't complaining funny enough this is, has to be three dimensional if y'all don't know what three dimensional is a fancy artsy fartsy term uh, I'll make it more shorter for you. Three dimensional in short term is 3D. Holy guacamole. So, yeah, dudes. You know what? I'm surprised that it's. I don't know. It could be terrible for an actual art. If an art teacher is watching this, like, my God, this is garbage. <laughs> He is not even doing this properly. Doesn't have like, um, doesn't have like freaking like a 3D plane or whatever. See, I'm not much of a traditional artist, dudes. I just look at stuff and be like, okay, I'm gonna draw this. How are you gonna break it down? I'm not. I'm just gonna look at it, draw it how I see it. And boom, bam, thank you, man. I, I've always been like that since I was a kid. I was not patient. 
um, I told this to like a few people. I think even Nick, I actually told him, is like I did not like how to draw books because why should I? Why should I learn how to draw how to draw a certain thing if I can just look at it and copy it? But you know, I, I I've matured. I have matured as an artist, you know, because you gotta break things down and put them into shapes. If you want to be more like armor, it's called a gorget. Shoot, man. Thank you, Dale, for sharing your wisdom today. You are going to be you're going to be the man for tonight sharing me your wisdom. Gorget. Nice. We got Lehat. hat. Hey, man, what's up? What's up, dude? It's been a while, man. Hope you're doing great, dude. How's that comic you're working on, man? With your character Jack, correct? And his talking hand slash wrist, which is pretty sick, dude. That art piece you did, man, is like... I know that, um, I think it was a recent one that I've commented. Because it, like, it looked like an evil gator or ghoulish gator in the background or whatnot. And I'm like, oh, what's about to go down, man? And then when I scrolled down from, uh... When I checked out your profile, like, I saw all the other concepts. I'm like, oh, shoot, man. So there was, like, a thread of concepts of, like, potential villains. How's it going? It's been it's been good, man. It's just this week, it's been, like, I was just busy. Life's just kicking my butt. But it's all good. You know, I'm here, finally sitting down and, um, you know, getting things done for the Gators. I just paid um, the fourth artist to do the variant cover, so we'll see how that's going to go. We got five people watching. Let's go, guys. Thanks for coming by. I really appreciate it, dudes. You're here just to hang out, just watch me draw, or you're just drawing along with me. I appreciate it, guys. But yeah, dudes. And honestly, like, I, I, I don't know if I even say said this yet. I, I just you best thank Scott. <laughs> Maybe in a live stream, as I talk to Scott, it's like you're the reason why I've been brought, like you've even brought my interest back into Gators again. Because guys, again, um, I was just so busy. I was just so busy getting like stuff done for flock related stuff and stuff like that. And I'm not blaming Scott. Like, oh well, Scott was the one that. That's not letting you do gators? No, not at all, dude. I could have worked on gators little by little while I was coloring, you know? And making that moolah. Making that moolah, guys. So, uh, let's see. But yeah, thanks to him, like, um, I think I said in a few streams. So I'm going to... I'm going to repeat myself because if I keep repeating myself, you guys will know it's actually true. Um, yeah, no, and we were, I believe when I was finishing up coloring issue four of the flock, is it issue four? No, what's issue five? See, I'm mixing my numbers up, dudes. That's how long it's been, man. But. When we finish up issue five of the flock, um, you know, Scott was like, Hey, it's like, Hey bud. Um, he's like, when are you going to work on the gators again? And I'm like, Oh shoot. Yeah. When am I going to work on it? You know, I, I subconscious, some eh, subconsciously questioned myself like, yeah, why? Why aren't you working on it? And I think like my goals were to one, at least somewhat learn how to market. And thanks to Tyler's um, tier where I even I even did everything. Like I created a sub stack and you know, did my thing. 
and that died quick um <laughs> that died so quick um i know like a few people were asking me like when are you gonna do your newsletters again and i'm like let me do it january january came i'll do it next month it's you know i kept pushing and pushing and i think now my main focus is so much on gators is like i want to draw the book and hopefully when i finish drawing the book now i can start promoting my book and then after i'm done promoting my book then i gotta do the campaign <laughs> and after i'm done doing the campaign and i hit my funding goal now i gotta figure out how i'm gonna ship this book how are how i'm gonna get it into people's hands you know it's it's a new journey it's a new chapter of ichthys and pro wrestling gators and also too i think i was just so focused on getting coloring gigs and doing this this and that and, you know asking one of my peers and i tell them my pay rate is like you your your rate was this it's like yeah it's like do you, do you ever think of increasing your rate yeah <laughs> So I gave him a rough number. It's like, yeah, just start off with there and then, you know, see how that goes. So far, it's been good. I'm getting a lot of yeses. So it's been going good. You know, it's not, I'm, I'm not asking like, I don't know, $80 or a hundred bucks. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not like um, DC or, or mainstream colorist, you know. I'm just a, I'm just a regular dude trying to be, you know, just doing comics. That's it. Do I want to do as a hobby? I mean, at this point, um, I'm trying to make it not of a hobby. I'm trying to find ways to, you know, get my name out there. At least for now. I think my best marketing tactic is, yeah, my book, yeah, I'm a colorist, right? Right. Guess what? What? My comic, Pro Wrestling Gators, cha. Um, it's gonna be black and white, dude. No way, man. Yeah, way, dude. It's just, it's crazy, I know, but it's gonna be black and white. Oh, stellar, dude. <laughs> oh man dudes Oh man. That's it. There we go. See the hat. That's awesome, man. Also, the comic is pretty all right been expanding it more and more as time passes that's good man yeah there's always give yourself some time look into some influences of other comics that maybe can somewhat relate to your stuff <clears throat> you know because at least with gators it's just like it's just um various of ways like again they could they can easily say like oh it looks like team and team you know what i don't blame them it's pretty much one of those bigger influences that's obvious so but yeah there's just various of other stuff that i've been uh what is it there's been various various other influences uh, the dude crazy seeing you go ham with pro wrestling gators yeah man trust me man if i was going crazy promoting uh 
Sidekick Adventures. Just wait till I freaking promote my own book, man. I'm very hyped and excited for it. some more some more bold inks to it you know I think I want to add some more. I think so then after that, then kind of want to play around a bit. Kind of give more boldness on the brows.
doing a little detailings now. Pretty much adding all these vertical lines. Just give nice effect, right? Like honestly, this is the first time I'm ever using this. But man, this is so sick. Hope you guys dig it as well. As much as I am. What else? Let me add some grainy dots. You know? Give that nice effect.
Rough dots or zip a tone. Guess you could say it's zip a tone. Was a gator boys she said <laughs> she says see you later boys <laughs> he wasn't good enough for her you know funny enough dale i actually listened to a uh, avril lavigne song on the weights honestly on this on my way to work so that was funny yeah no dude i swear i think avril lavigne does not age at all i i don't know what's her secret I don't know if she does blood sacrifices or what to keep herself looking that youthful. So I, I, I don't know, dude. I honestly don't know. But yeah, I'm pretty much digging the dots that I'm putting on now. Let's see how the roughs look. It just gives more personality in these in my art if anything hell yeah gotta draw this dude's bandanas now that I remembered I tend to forget the little details 
which are the most important parts. Yeah, sometimes, like, I'll tend to forget little details, like, you know, like, I just realized I didn't put in, like, the armband. Like, look, there's supposed to be two armbands. I just realized now I put only one armband. So, you know, that's something I got to make sure I catch myself, especially when you're drawing a comic, you know, I might notice those little things. You know, honestly, I wouldn't think it'll be something you would forget since, you know, you're on, you're on the piece for so freaking long, you would catch that, but honestly, you would not, especially with the rough pencils too, kind of like miss it by a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm not liking Oh, I'm doing. You can't do that if you do it on pencil and pen, unfortunately. There's no Command Z. It's kind of like a cheat code, kind of like GTA, you know? stuff I go erase this
going to start. Let me go on ahead and actually showcase Clock Psychic Adventures. So go on break for a moment. We will go over here. Bam! So here you go, guys. Block Psychic Adventures. Every sidekick needs a sidekick, and every boy needs a loyal canine friend. So, let me see if I can refresh it. We made any progress. Okay, it's fine. So, here you guys go. Block Sidekick Adventures. I mean,. The proof is right there, guys. It's complete. It's a complete book. 40 pages of action, adventure, slice of life, and wholesome content for you and your family to read. You know, this is something that you can leave it alone on the coffee table for your kids to read. You know. And, you know, I got to pitch this story idea to uh, Scott. And he written the story for me. And Gino, he just did a phenomenal job. So I'm happy that my story got featured for the Flock Sidekick Adventures. Now here's a page previews of how Scott, aka the guy, not Scott. Staking Edward. Edward. Scott is the creator. Uh, Edward discovering how he met his canine best friend, you know? I mean, these pages are fantastic, guys. It's like Gino's art is just top tier. And then you got this one here. This the one with Reese is so good, guys. So so good. And here's the cover for the Sidekick Adventures, covered by yours truly, and the Ben Dunn cover, which is fantastic. I literally took a different approach when I colored this piece, and it just looks fantastic. This is Mrs. H's variant cover. So again, and we got first time ever a blank variant as well. So for those that are artists and they want to have a, a blank variant, you know, it's option, literally the first option you're going to see right here. And it's eight bucks. I mean, that's a huge steal, guys. Huge, huge steal. You got Mitch's H, variant cover, cover C. Got the Flock Psychic Adventures, cover A. And then you got the Flock Psychic Avengers cover B by Ben Dunn himself. I love this so much. Catch the Flock Up digital tier, which is perfect. And you got the Flock Psychic Avengers version of the book so I mean guys get while it's hot and as easy as ABC guys if you want to get all three covers the Ben Dunn collection which 
you can get both versions, whether with the logo and without the logo. So we got a crossover chibi. We got gold, we got push goals. We got head stickers of the gosling. When we get funded, so this is that's an easy goal, guys. Head sticker for slinger at 2000. And then a, a crossover chibi for Lucky Star. Uh, Lucky Star Chibi crossover at 3,000 art by Amy Fusco, who was who did the variant cover uh, for cover C. And yeah, man, that's it. That's all we got so far. And you know, my favorite guys is playing a video. So if anything, I might turn off the audio so you guys can hear it better. And yeah, guys, that is the Flock Sidekick Adventures, guys. I'm going to drop the link down below if you guys are interested in backing it. There you go. Go and share my screen, and we'll get back to what you guys are here for. There you go. Go on ahead and Let's get this more bold. There we go. Hell yeah.
Whew. Hmm. Let me see. I was trying to figure out the settings for these pieces here. We got Phil Man X in the chat. Sup, sup. Sup, Phil. How you doing, man? Has a White Devil uh, campaign launch too, Phil? Because I know March has been a big month. Uh, what is it? Psychic Adventures launched today. I know that. Who else? I know Air Rider came out and the dude was doing a live stream celebrating the launch of it so Ugh. excuse me i know we're gonna do our celebration stream tomorrow because scott didn't he didn't have a good night's sleep he slept late when he was promoting 
Psychic Adventures. See, it sounds like it'll launch, it'll launch uh, sometime in the next couple months. Oh, okay. Gotcha, man. So most likely what, like summer? It might launch in the summertime. And I think it's going to get listed in Diamond this time. Oh, sick, dude. Awesome, man. Yeah, that's exciting, man. can do is there's a nib so Yeah, I gotta work on this panel because it doesn't fit with the dialogue. Can't wait to work on this part. Now we gotta focus on this. Yeah, I gotta add some backgrounds because it looks like a plane of nothing. Oh wow, I just deleted. <laughs> I just deleted the page I was working on. There you go. Let's get back over here. There you go. Is 
see, June at the latest. Okay. So that was pretty close. I knew it was going to be around the summertime because summer is the best time, honestly, just to pick up anything. Let's see here. It's looking good, man. Your gators, that is. Oh, thank you, dude. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, I like to have fun, man, and just be expressive. Got, like, my influences next to me, so I... Oh, man. I don't know why I'm all sleepy. Well, then again, to be fair, I've been going to sleep super early to my new job, so I think the effects of it is kicking in. Because my body's like, it's bedtime, and I'm like, no, it's the weekend. Let's go and party. And when I mean party, I mean work on the comic. Because tomorrow's going to be a long day. Know that for sure. Actually, I definitely know that for sure. <laughs> I'm not even exaggerating. Add some flare. Hell yeah. I didn't wanna. No, that's not even it. What's cool about this... This brush set that I have... Is like, it'll tell you like... Like the lines that I'm picking, it tells you like... Pretty much like... Uh, how many degrees are the lines? Like 45 degrees. 
So, I mean, there's, like, math behind it. So, I have, like, an idea, like, okay, if... You see, I just found that. And then, you know, depending on how intense you want these lines to be, it will be either 30%, you want it 50%, which gets more intense. I think what's... 70, let's go for 70. Look at that. It's... And when you zoom out, it just looks so nice. It gives that nice little gritty look that I'm honestly trying to go for. You know, like classic TMNT, black and white books. Like I want to pick up more black and white books and see, like, what the heck do they do? Because, again, this is, like, a new approach for me to tackle on. I never done black and white and you know I kinda wanna try this out on my own book, you know. Whether it gets fully funded or not, that's all it's all right for me because regardless, there's other avenues to take this, you know, just to share it out. So it's not like the end of the world. I was wondering what happened to all my grays. <laughs> it's like I have a layer. You see Batman black and white. Amazing. Okay. I'll look into that, man. Thanks for Dale A for the recommendation. Yeah, because I think I do have black and white books, but honestly, man, I feel like it's just an art edition. What I mean, like an art edition, I mean, like, it's just inks. That's it. There's no gray tones. There's no little extras of detail or zip -a tones you know. It's just inks, and that's it. Nothing more and nothing less. And, you know, I, I want to give some extra love to, to my art. Trying to figure out what exactly. Grab my. So that way I can erase this. Yeah. Ugh.
let me go and use Zipatones.
let me try to figure something out here. Feeding the ducks. <laughs> Let's just realized you're feeding the ducks at this time, man. Isn't it late where you're at, man? I don't know. Then again, it, we're who knows? Maybe we have different time zones. I'm Eastern, so it's like, oof, very, very different. Reference. Let's go ahead and start. Try that reference. Really looking at like Eddie Riggs's like little knives, you know, little sharp parts. Let's get a nice look around. Just increases, so it's not like completely black.
It's day 42. My gosh, dude. I wish it was this time. <laughs> it's um it's 11:46 where I'm at. <laughs> That's why you keep hearing me yawning and just freaking struggling. Cuz it's almost midnight over here. We got Lunchbox Warren. What's up? What's up, dude? How are you, man? How was your stream, dude? I was stream hopping. <laughs> it's like, I guess like three people were streaming at the same time. I think like by the time you went streaming, I was talking with Scott way before. I only catch like, I think maybe 45 or 55 minutes in of your stream, dude. Yeah, man. Good stuff. Hey, then let me go on and turn off my reference. There you go. There you go. Now, it's, now it looks a lot like a freaking jacket.
Looking good, my friend. The stream went really good. Awesome, dude. Yeah, man. I was wondering when you're going to stream again. But, you know, I'm glad I got to see your tweet. I was... I made your... Oh, excuse me, guys. My goodness. I am, like... Oh. Freaking wreck right now. I'm basically like past my bedtime and I'm it's like I'm just out of I'm just fighting myself not to fall asleep. I realize this dude got massive hands, bro. Like, massive. Could be freaking cousins with Bigfoot, if anything. Could be big hands. Add more shade into my inks. That way it looks more bold.
Let me add some more height in those brows. Or anything, he could be Brainiac's cousin. <laughs> With those freaking huge brows. Yeah, I dig it. Then, I get more wrinkles around his face. We are going to try to stream every Friday. Okay, sick, dude. Yeah. Can't wait for every Friday, man. Let's see. DLA, you ever experiment with thicker lines? No, I honestly haven't, dude. I've been like a type of person where I want to have nice, thin, clean lines, but at the same time, like, I gotta, you know, I gotta learn this thing called line weight. So, it kind of gives you know, your art much more, you know, kind of makes it look way, way, just gives more personality to your work. I think what I like with Danny Warren Johnson is like, even though he does everything traditional, like he's, he's not scared to like go really thick with his line work. And that's something that I kind of want to try. Like, I've seen how he does his work, like, his way of drawing. And it's just insane, man. Like, this guy is fearless when he's, like, physically inking. And he does a really fast, too. Like, I remember when um, our victim saw me ink. Like, he says, wow, like, you ink really fast. And, like... Like, I, I wish I could ink fast, you know? This is like nothing. So yeah, I'm trying to do more bolder, thicker lines. Thank you. 
So you study Bernie Wrightson for line weights. Okay. Yeah, I'll check out Bernie Wrightson. I hope I pronounce his name correctly. looking sick. He's looking, he's looking menacing, menacingly.
Where the heck does the hair come from? Oh, it's from gray. Okay. Just trying to figure out like, yo, like, how the heck do I color this? Just now I know it's gray. Okay. Oh man, I'm gonna call it a night, guys. It is midnight. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching the stream. It is ooze of excellence. As always, remember, guys, stay excellent. <laughs>